Well, hello there all. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, posted anything um, in regards to the uh, EFR upgrade um, and wanted to do a quick video. Uh, this is actually a uh, monumental day because I'm going to attempt to restart the engine. Um, the EFR is in. Uh, I'm still waiting on some piping uh, intake, sorry, yeah, intake pipe uh, from Dave at Performance. We had to modify a few things, and uh, so what I've done is I've uh, just done a temporary mock-up. <laughs> As you can see, the piping don't look too cool right now, but what I've done is I've just uh, uh, banjoed on a uh, intake here, and I've got the charge pipe going down to the intercooler. There's no clamps or anything on it because I'm just going to run it at idle if it starts at all. Hopefully it does. Um, the engine breathing system is not in place. I'm going to be using a, um, a new system from Performance Auto Works that Dave's been working on for the last year or so and um, he will be supplying that to me for installation. Very nice. Uh, so as I said, turbo is in. Uh, piping is in place. Um, I ran the engine for about 40 seconds uh, just priming oil and coolant lines to the turbocharger. Um, all the new spark plugs are in, coil packs are on, uh, vacuum lines replaced, uh, engine has been filled full of coolant. Uh, thank you DDM for that wonderful video on how to do that. Um, without that I would have been a little lost, but uh, not, not even too sure if the engine's fully, uh, fully filled. But I guess we'll find out as the engine runs up uh, to temperature. Probably won't be able to find that out until I actually drive it, um, I'm guessing, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So power steering relocation is in. Uh, we're pretty much all ready to go here. And uh, let me just look at this for a second. Yep, I just needed to, sorry, had to just check something. So let's walk around here. Open the girl up. Oh, I'm still dealing with my broken ribs, so it's kind of... Ah, let's get some power to her here. Okay, let's go. And here we go, fingers crossed. Oh, brutal. Oh, I've got to put the clutch in. Ooh, what's that noise? Ooh, running a little rough. I don't know. Ooh, nice and smooth. Very nice. Oh, that's good news. So I'm running, uh, I've taken the Trifecta tune out and I'm running the uh, OEM tune. It's back in it. Uh, it's, uh, Dave asked me to do that. I'm getting in preparation for the, for the new tune that he will be doing using HP tuners. So, Your ratio looks good. I have no codes. And uh, everything sounds good. I wonder what, the, what was that noise? That sounded weird. It's like something was spooling up. noise anyway. Oh, head around here. Yeah. Everything sounds good. Everything looks good. I don't see any uh, any oil leaks. There's no coolant blowing out anywhere. Everything looks nice and dry. Excellent. I think I'm a happy man. The only thing I'm concerned about was that noise at startup. If anyone heard that, and you might have an idea of what it was, let me know. It was almost like a loose fan belt or something, or maybe. Maybe the power steering 
has got an airlock in it or something and uh, that was it spinning up it was a weird sound it only lasted a couple of seconds but I'm sure you heard it anywho there we go engine starts first pop it's a thing of beauty okay so I'm just waiting for uh, pipes to come back from Dave um, the um, uh, engine breather system to be installed and then we can get this thing on the road and get it tuned get it down to the dyno and go from there okay hope you enjoyed bye now